Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Grampy here. We are back in our single player world that we're calling Road to Logic. I don't know if I've mentioned that in a while, but we kind of based a single player series on using the creations of Logical Geek Boy. At least at first we did. We, we may have kind of strayed away from that a little bit um, lately because we're kind of getting to be, you know, fairly advanced, late game type gameplay here. But um, anyway, we used Logical Geek Boy's inventions that he built into a series that he calls Simply Minecraft uh, just to kind of do a little tribute series to Logical Geek Boy and kind of thank him for his contribution to the Minecraft community. Uh, he's, an, uh, he's an amazing player and very creative, very inventive uh player and anyway uh it's been a blast watching him play and um so anyway that's what this series was about but now kind of moved beyond the simply minecraft stuff and we're we're building you know quite a variety of st of things at this point speaking of which let's take a look at our latest uh project this is going to be our um wither killing machine um, that we're going to base off of a showcase video that was done by a guy named Fallen Breath who is a really amazing technical minecrafter but um, but also it was modified and done into a tutorial of sorts by named Shay DJ Shay DJ <laughs> And um, he's got a he's got a uh, pretty slick adaptation of this farm. I've already put our chest in the, these. This double chest is kind of going to be kind of where we start. Uh, but this is the delivery mechanism for the uh, wither heads. So. First, that we're, the place we're going to start is by placing the dispensers that actually um, that position the um, the wither heads on top of the soul sand when it's when it's ready for that step in the process. And there's the, it uses dispensers to do that. So. We just need three dispensers that are positioned facing down, just like that. And now we need some droppers facing into those dispensers. Um, just like so. Now, since we're under here, let's go ahead and place these pistons. We need three regular pistons, not sticky pistons, um, underneath the middle droppers facing that direction. So, one, two, three, and these are gonna be powered by redstone from above. And we'll get to that in a second. So, pistons. Okay, now let's go up and put the hoppers in for um, for the Witherhead delivery system. We're going to need three three hoppers. Where are my hoppers? Here they are. Um, okay, 
without any three hoppers facing off this direction. I don't think that's important which direction they face, really. Might be. But they're just going to be terminating into a piston, and we'll see how that works in a second. But these down here need to point into those droppers. And then, and then this is going to be a fancy little, oh, I think that needs to be a sticky piston. Sticky piston here with our redstone block. I, I like to use iron for that because it makes it easy to count. And we have a lot of it. <laughs> and then we're going to put a redstone line right here. So at the appropriate time, and I'm not sure I need to go look and see how, but at the appropriate time, this, this uh, piston is going to extend and either cut this redstone line off or let it continue. Let's put a block under there, and then we need our slabs in a little configuration like that. This is, this is a temporary. So we'll put redstone on those slabs, dust, put redstone dust on those slabs, like, is that right? Something doesn't look right. No, that's right. When it extends, it'll cut that line off. See it? That block will extend and then this will depower that redstone down there. Let's go ahead and... work on this section. So there's a redstone block. Oh, <laughs> there. That's what powers it. Down here with dust on it. And then there's this weird contraption like this with a slime block here. Redstone block on top, and a, a uh, sticky piston. Sticky piston like that. We need to put a repeater in here with a delay on it. Coming off of this block here, so at that level right there. Um, we need a repeater with a delay of two. And then that's going to be going into a block like that and then a block like that with dust on top of this one and a redstone torch right here. Sticky piston here against that and then we need a regular piston here, like so, I'll probably play some wrong because I can't remember, but we need the observer so that it observes that redstone dust on this side, so I think you place it like this, right? Yeah, so it observes that dust and outputs its signal to the back, and then we need one that 
observes that observer and then outputs a signal there just like that. Well guys, um, you kind of see the process. It's just a kludge <laughs> of me trying to match what I'm seeing in the world download to this. So I'm not going to try to walk, talk my way through it because I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just going to turn on replay mod, continue to do this, and then check back in like this uh, after we make, you know, progress here and there. So anyway, guys, um, I hope I hope to have something worth watching here in a minute. <laughs> See you in a flash. Okay, guys, we're back, and we're done. <laughs> I hope the, uh, I never know whether I'm going to be able to do a recording with my replay mod, but um, I've captured myself building most of it, I think. Um, at least this main section here, I may not have turned it back on when I was trying to build that thing down there. I don't know if it's going to be worth watching at all. <laughs> we'll find out. But I loaded up all of the wither skull, uh, skulls that I have. Actually, this isn't all of them. I think I have another full chest at the wither farm. But this is, these are the ones that I brought back with me. And that also filled up, um, you know, that chest plus the hoppers and the droppers etc and then I went over and raided the uh, bartering farm and got all of the soul sand and loaded it into this system so here's how this works um, so you load up your soul sand into here and you saw where we put our skeleton skulls um, they get shot out at you out of this dropper as you sit, stand here and place them right here. The only thing I don't like about this design is you can't see what's going on while you're placing soul sand. The one that I built, you were able to place your soul sand and watch the withers being created and killed up there. But um, So anyway, you place your soul sand and this redstone contraption pushes them up in, in a column that right there and then pushes them over and then they go, you know, the, they go through that series of pistons that we build up there and it pushes them into place and then the dispensers dispense um, wither skulls onto them to create withers. So I tested it for a while and got a couple of stacks of <laughs> stars and it works pretty good. Uh, the one thing that it's doing that I can't figure out, and in fact, it's doing it in the world download. So I don't know, it might be a, a ver game version thing. I think it was designed for version 1.16. I'm not sure. But um, 
but um, the same thing is happening in um, in the world download and it gets stuck right here so I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep my I hope that thing keeps me loaded here on this first spot because I'm gonna probably need to use my shovel occasionally it just gets stuck and you'll see what I mean so all you do you know you don't have any buttons to turn on you as soon as you place a soul sand it begins working like that so you just stand here and keep clicking and it keeps going now you can look in the top of my screen you can see the withers that are being created it hasn't stopped yet that's pretty good news You should be able to see the, oh, there it goes. See, it just stops like that once in a while. You should be able to tell when the wither, when we reach um, entity cramming numbers because they'll start losing health and dying very quickly. Like that now, that's what's happening now. You can see them going down in health. I sure wish I knew what was causing this to get stuck like this. There's no way you can AFK here. So you can see them starting to die now. There are a whole bunch of them just died. And what that means is you'll start seeing this. Oh, no. I saw a, uh, I saw a blue skull fly out. Maybe that was just a illusion or something I don't know a glitch I hope but the the wither stars are starting to come out they're going to fall right into this chest right here and we can just keep doing this as long as we want to I'm going to send an email or a YouTube message to uh Shady J or whatever his name is, I can't remember now. Shady Shady J V or something, um, and see if he's having the same problem. See if he'll answer me. But anyway, guys, that's how it goes. That's how it works. And then when. Maybe it has to do with the skulls not dispensing fast enough. I'm not sure. But anyway, so whenever you stop, whatever's left inside the machine, just you just have to wait until they die of suffocation damage. They, they will eventually die of suffocation. <laughs> but aside from that little glitch, it's quite a machine, isn't it? Boy, I tell you what, uh, it was a lot of work <laughs> clearing bedrock. I bet I have at least nine hours in that little exercise. So anyway, guys, there you have it. I hope I'm able to put together a watchable episode out of all this nonsense. And uh, I really appreciate you watching. So we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>